I am about to record a podcast show and I'm going to show you how easy it is to record and edit all in one platform, okay? Because I know if you're a podcaster, you probably try to download like a million platforms to try and record, to try and edit, and then you just find yourself so overwhelmed because you can't find something that's seamless, easy to use, and just makes your podcast look professional. Because let's be honest, after recording like an hour long podcast, it can take you double, if not triple the amount of time to actually edit it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to record and how to edit a podcast show that'll probably only take you like 30 minutes max. So that way you can be on your way of actually posting it and getting so many more views. And before I show you how to set up, how to record and how to edit, I want to do a shout out for today's sponsor, Riverside.fm. And if you do any type of video recordings, meetings, podcasts that basically requires really, really good audio and video, Riverside.fm gets studio quality audio and video without worrying about like bad internet connection because we all know that happens sometimes because everything is recorded locally on their device. Plus their built-in editor is amazing, okay? It makes it so easy to edit, to add music, to change up the background, and then of course export it in the highest quality ever, which I'll be showing later in this video. So make sure to use the link in the description description to try it out for free and if you do end up signing up you get 15% off. So before we go into actually recording the podcast we want to make sure we have a really 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 good platform that we actually use. Now I use a lot of platforms to record video audio like I've used Zoom, I've used StreamYard, I've used Loom and I've got to say like they get the job done. But I've recently started to use Riverside like no joke and honestly it beats them all because the quality is just so so crisp. Now although Riverside of course records the audio and and the visual on their software, you still need to make sure you have a really good mic and then also really good video. So that way you also get the highest quality on your end. So this is what I use for a mic. It's a sure mic and I'll make sure to pop it up on here. And I have every tool that honestly I'm going to be mentioning in this video. It's linked in the description in my Amazon storefront so that way you guys can get the best quality mic and audio. But this is what I use. Honestly, it works so, so well. And for the video, I use this webcam to make sure once again it's clear it's crisp you can use just like your laptop webcam but if you use something like this it just makes it look so much more professional than needing to like set up a whole camera but if you do want to use a camera this is the camera that i use to record most of my youtube videos and any other thing that i might be recording now i've been podcasting and interviewing for years now and a pro tip that i want to give you is in order for people to actually watch the whole video you need to make sure that you're actually asking the interviewee a really really good questions. So the interview that I'm about to do with my podcast guests, these are the list of questions I'm going to be asking her. So just make sure you come prepared so that way not only do you look good with your guests, but people actually want to listen to the entire podcast show. So now let me show you how I actually set everything up on Riverside to record it in studio. So this is how I record. I go to riverside.fm, I go to my studio, and then I just hit on record. It will take you basically to this um, landing page. It'll tell you to check your mic, check your camera. If you you're using headphones, you just need to tell them so that way they pick up the best audio. Now, I usually don't use headphones because I'm in my office. There's not really much background going on, but if you are somewhere where it's noisy, I recommend using headphones. So I'll do, I'm not using headphones and join studio. Then I'll take you to the studio. It's all online. So that way you don't have to download any like software, anything else. And all you really need to do is click on copy link. And this is the link that you're going to be sending your guests. So that way they can join you right here. Or of course, you can also invite them by email. And that's the best part about Riverside also is like you can either record yourself, you can record with one person, multiple people, and it will all download all different audio tracks. That means you won't get any like overlap, echo, like fuzziness. Sometimes that happens, especially when you record on different platforms. This, it does not do that. Okay, I'm about to record my own podcast show. So I will see you guys back when it's time to edit. Bye. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi guys, we're back. The recording is done. Now is the fun part, which is actually editing. So you can see the recording will show up right here on your dashboard. So if I click on this, all you really have to do is click on edit and it'll just pull up maybe some, some of these two things, but all you have to do is click on edit. Now this is the Riverside multi-editor. This is so cool because it actually shows you right over here, the different tracks. So I am in pink and then Christina, my guest, she is in this like yellow green track. Now here's why I love it. The editor basically automatically organizes the track. So if I look at the transcript over here, if I need to go in and I need to edit, which is what I'm about to do right now with you guys, I can literally look at this and see if there's anything I need to delete. So as I'm scrolling, let's say if I need to delete one word or a sentence, I can click on it and it'll show you what to do. I can either correct it, I can add a scene or I can delete it. So this is honestly the best part. So instead of sitting here for an hour, you can just go through the transcript. And if you know there's areas that you messed up on, you can just highlight it and you can delete it. Now, to be honest, for this podcast, we did amazing and there's not really anything that I need to delete. Um, but previously, there would be a lot of times where there was like awkward pauses. Maybe there was like ums. Maybe we had to stop because someone was at the door and the doorbell rang. Like all of those I could delete basically within like five minutes if it was like an hour long podcast show. Now, what you can also do is on the right hand side, there's different things that you can do to actually brand the video. So I can add logo, I can add a background. If I want to put spacing in between, I can do that too. So you can see all of a sudden now there's a border between us. There's also different layouts, which is really, really cool. So I can do split screen. I can do a grid. I can do full screen. So let's say for an example, Christina is actually talking. I can have her for full screen while she's talking. And then when I start speaking or maybe I ask her another question, I can go back to myself or the split screen. And if you go under track, over here, you can also make changes based on each person. Now there's something called smart scenes, which is basically AI will tell you like the best layout for each moment of the video. So if I click on this, it is basically gonna look at the transcript, look at everything. And over here, it pops up where to have split screen and where to have like full screen. Now I can also add captions on here. So if I want to add just captions, I can go over here. I can also edit. So if I wanna make it one line, I can do that. I can make it either small, medium, large. Let's do large. If I wanna have like a background, I can do that. There you go. So all of a sudden in literally what, like two seconds, I have captions on the entire video. Like to be honest guys, like an editor doesn't get easier than this because once again, like I don't like complicated editors like there's so many editors I've used in the past, but this just makes it so much easier. And you can see here, there's still other things that you can add. There's images I can add. Um, I can even add other like video clips. So if there's something that we're talking about a product, I can upload and actually put that in the actual video. And of course, background music as well. If you want something playing in the background, maybe the introduction or for the full video. Now, this is the coolest part. When you're done editing, all you really have to do is go up here and click on export. It'll tell you the video quality. I always do 4K. I do no watermark because we don't want that on there. You can also normalize audio levels and remove background noise, which I love. And then you just click on export video. And that is basically I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Once again, if you want to try out Riverside for free, check the link in the description. If you do sign up, you get 15% off. So I know this is going to be a game changer for so many of you beginner podcasters or even those who have been doing it for quite some time. Because once again, you guys saw how easy it is. And instead of it taking you hours to edit, it might only take you like 30 minutes. So that's all for today. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure that you stay unforgettable.